a developmental sports camp for children with visual impairment, blindness, or deaf blindness, and is held at SUNY Brockport the last week in June each year. Camp Abilities was founded in 1996 by Dr. Lauren J. Lieberman. Her continuing mission is to provide sport opportunities for children who are visually impaired, blind, or deaf blind. of the earth We'll acknowledge the person first Through our vision by knowing our worth Changing what it means to be blind The first camp abilities was started in Brockport, New York at SUNY Brockport where it has since been held for 12 years. The camp is a one-week overnight experience for children from ages 9 to 19 years old. The power of the dream To diligence by you and me Changing what it means to be blind The functions of Camp Abilities are to empower children with visual impairments by providing opportunities to experience and excel at sports to teach education majors how to teach children with visual impairments to provide a respite for families to conduct research in the area of visual impairment and physical activity. This research is presented all over the world and is published in many national and international journals. Changing what it means to be blind Step by step one day at a time Still not to Every child is assessed at each sport their skills are documented and improvements are recorded. Camp Abilities provides many role models participating as specialists and musicians. We have Paralympic athletes that run several sports and also give inspirational talks to the children. Capabilities since she was nine. She looks forward to it every year. She's made friends that we get together with other times of the year. Really, I think her favorite part about Capabilities is the camaraderie and the being around other kids like herself. 
It's been a wonderful opportunity. And prior to coming to camp, he really had very little uh, sports involvement. And it's a nice break for Dad and myself. This is his fourth year at camp. He, he just enjoys everything about the camp. Once he was here, the first week, I think it took him three days before he relaxed enough to have a good time, and then we couldn't get him out of here. This is my first year. I really, really like it. My fifth year at camp. My parents heard about it, that it was a really good place to go. If you like sports, and if you really want to say, hey, it's, it's no big deal that I'm blind. I can do anything that I set my mind to because that's what this camp is basically all about. The fact that it's in a group, it just makes it easier. Like, we're running, you know, at least a mile or two a day and swimming two, three hundred meters. So it's, it's stuff that I normally wouldn't be doing. And whether you, whether you want to admit it or not, you have stereotypes about different populations and they, they're just eliminated. 100%. The best part is, you know, I get to push my athlete and he gets to push me back. Yeah, this, this is what, you know, kids can do when they give them a chance. My name is Dr. Lauren Lieberman. I'm a professor at SUNY Brockport in the Department of Physical Education. And I started Camp Abilities 12 years ago uh, to combat the issue of sedentary lifestyles of children with visual impairments blindness and deaf blindness and we hope that people will help us in any way that they can whether it's being a counselor, uh, donating money or um, donating equipment um, and support for camp abilities. Camp Abilities is now offered in many locations in addition to New York State, including Alaska, Arizona, Florida, Iowa, Pennsylvania, Puerto Rico, and coming soon to Maryland and Texas. Camp Abilities works with Lions Clubs, the Commission for the Blind, the Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, and many local merchants and organizations to craft the best program possible. For more information on Camp Abilities, please see our website at www.campabilities.org or contact Dr. Lauren Lieberman at 585-395-5361. Or Haley Scheidlin at 585-395-2629. The power of the dream to diligence by you and me. Changing what it means to be blind. And we must convey by example so they can say no big deal, I'm blind. Of the earth will acknowledge the person first through our vision by knowing our worth. Changing what it means to be blind, changing what it means to be blind. Look, see their movement.